Kentucky like two weeks ago. Um, I was, my friend was shopping for some Castella, which is a kind of cake, and the shop, which is um, a famous product in Nagasaki, and the shop owner told us that our accents are really Miyazaki-like, or the way we, our intonation and in Japanese. So I decided that I'd make a blog teaching about Miyazaki-ben, which is the dialect in Miyazaki Prefecture. So, I can't really teach you the intonation. I don't even know how I know it. It just, it just happened. <laughs> but I'll teach you some words. I don't actually. I don't actually use these words. I know what they mean. I just don't use them. But my int. But I was told my intonation is like that. So first I'll say it in Miyazaki Ben, and then I'll say it in regular Japanese, and then I'll say it in English, and I'll give you an example of how to use it. So the first word is tege. Tege means in regular Japanese tottemo. In English, like very. So an example of how to use this word is Ah, sono ego tege mosiroi! And in regular Japanese, ah, sono ego tottemo mosiroi! And in English, ah, oh, that movie is really interesting! Only my voice didn't really sound like I was very interested, I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, that is a word that is often used here. It's um, actually one of the first words that I knew about Miyazaki when I looked up online. So it's one of the first words that popped up. And some other examples of, te of another version of Totemo is well, Miyazaki Tege, but the one that used a lot is Cho. You can say, ah, sonne ego cho mosiroi! Or, also, ah, kansai ben mecha. Mecha is used like everywhere in I think it's become a. It's, it's we're used everywhere now, in pretty much everywhere in Japan now. Ah, sonne ego mecha mosiroi! And then you can add kucha at the end too. So, mecha kucha. And I, I think mechakcha just makes it more powerful. Like very, very, really, really. Yeah. But if you say tege twice, tege tege, it actually means a different word, tekito. And I know what tekito means in Japanese, but I have the hardest time translating it to English. I mean, I know it's. it's probably easy but it's just one of those words I just don't like if I look it up in the dictionary it gives me all these results so I will go I will just put it well, I don't know where the bottom I'm using my camera so I, I don't have a webcam C but the bottom <laughs> the bottom I will put the definition once I find it because I don't have the internet right now but I don't, I hear it regularly, I just hear tekito instead of teke teke used. Maybe people, I don't know, I've been, I've been told that people in Miyazaki Shi have like, like in different cities, um, like there'll be more Miyazaki been about it and say teke teke, but I, think I, I usually just hear tekito. So, and the third word, or second, third, I'll go with third because I said teke teke already. Um, and, the th and the third word is Seato. And Seato in regular Japanese, a hontoni or sonano. And in English, it's like, oh, really? So an example sentence would be, Ne, she said to go get coached up. Eh, Seato. And in regular Japanese, Eh, she said to go get coached up. Eh, hontoni. And in English, Teacher C got married. Really? And the fourth word, Yaro. So Yaro, in regular Japanese, is like Daro or Desho. So, in an example sentence in Miyazaki Ben, I'm going to stop switching between people because it takes too much time, so I'm just gonna read it. You can tell from the bottom, written on the bottom, who's who. Okay. Regular Japanese. In English, no, this is G Girl's pen, isn't it? Thank you! And another example, because that O on the show has both, so. 
え、水魚生物やろう。And we go to Japanese. 水魚生物だろう。Last. え、next is biology, right? And part one over. Yay. So there's actually more words, but if I save them all now, this will just become long and lengthy and boring, and no one will want to watch it. So I'll stop here, and later on I will upload more more videos with other words that are Miyazaki ban. And so this is, I guess, what would be considered a Japanese country person dialect.、Mm, I think、um, to, to Americans, it's like someone speaking in a southern accent, maybe, I would say. I don't know, but. I don't know.、Um, but it can be multi prefectural. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you.